have to learn about numbers and number names. In the unit 1, we came across so many other concepts that we got to learn before getting into numbers. Now let's recall and see if you remember the numbers. Let's start with 50. What comes after 50? It's 51, 52, 53 and then 54, 55, 56, 57, 58 and 59 and then comes 60. Very good. Now let's try with 110. Okay. 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115 and then 116, 117, 118, 119 and then 120. Very good. Now let me try into hundreds. Okay. 260. Alright. So 261. Till along with me. 262, 263, 264, 265, 266 and then comes 267, 268, 269 and 270. Very good. So I believe you remember the numbers very well. Now let's look at number names. Do you remember the number names? Let's see. Let's start with 1. O-N-E is 1 and 2. T-W-O. T-H-R-E-E -E is 3. F-O-U-R is 4. F-I-V-E -E is 5. And 6. S-I-X. S-E-V-E-N is 7. E-I-G-H-T is 8. N-I-N-E is 9 and T-E-N is 10. Now let's do 11. E-L-E-V-E-N, 11. And T-W-E-L-V-E, -E, 12. T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N is 13. F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N is 14. F-I-F-T-E-E-N is 15. S-I-X-T-E-E-N is 16. S E V E N T E N is 17. E I G H T E E N is 18. N I N E T E E N is 19. And 20. T W E N T Y is 20. Very good. Now I'm going to write few numbers on this board, their number names, and you have to tell me which number they belong to. Okay, let me try with an easy one. Can you tell me what number is this? Number name for 2. Very good. Now let me try another one. What about this? This is? 11. Very good. So, I believe you remember all the number names very well. That's nice. Now, let us look at something new. We're going to learn about numbers and the digits. Alright? So, we have numbers which are made up of digits, right? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, these 10 digits are the digits that are used for all the numerals, right? So single digit numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the single digit numbers. How about two digit numbers? We have 10, 11, 12, 13 till 99. Those are the two digit numbers. And then three digit numbers. We have 100, 101, 102, 103, all the way till 999 are the three digit numbers. Very good. Now, let's look at place values. This is a concept of ones, tens and hundreds. So first we have 
once here and then we have one tens or we have ten ones we can call it either ways and then we have one hundreds or we have ten tens which makes one hundreds and then we have three ones how do you write the number three we have three ones and that becomes three and then we have 18 so how how do we do that it's one tens and then eight ones which make 18 and then we have 32 here so we have three tens and then two ones and the next one is 40 for 40 we have four tens and then comes 56 56 we have five tens and then six ones and the last one is 300 so which is we have three hundreds zero tens and zero ones now let's look at place value house all right for a single digit number the place value house will have only a single room okay just let's look at this house this house has only how many rooms do you see single room right so the single room would be of only ones now let's look at a house which has two digits okay How many rooms does this have, this house have? It has two. That is ones. Then we have tens. Right? Very good. Now for a three digit number, we'll have how many rooms? Any guesses? We have three rooms. That would be of hundreds, tens and ones. Very good. That's right. Now let's go to the next page here let's observe and learn seven is a single digit number so how do we read it as seven ones and then we have 23 this is a two di digit number how do we read it as two tens and three ones now let's try 125 this is a three digit number how do we read it as one hundreds and then two tens and five ones now i hope you all understood about this let's try an activity based on this let's turn to page number 58 here we have an activity which says write the numbers in the place value house so we have a house and the first one that we're going to try here is the number eight so how do we read it as eight ones and then we have number 75 seven tens five ones that's how we read 75 as let's try 292 two hundreds nine tens and two ones very good now you try out the other numbers which are given in that page for yourself okay and now the next activity you have to color you don't have to write it but you need to color and then tell us how we read it as okay let's see the number 16 we have to see we have one tens yes and then six ones very good how about the number 14 again we have we need to color one tens and then we have four ones very good now you can do the rest and then let's go to the next page here we have a place value house and there are few numbers which are given we are going to try out few let's try the ones which are missing here in this place value house in the sequence first one here is 97 so 9 is written in the tens place and we have 9 tens and seven ones 
The next number is 98. So you need to write 9 at the tens place and 8 at the ones place. So we have 9 tens and 8 ones. And the next one is 99. You need to write it the same way. Let's try 236 in the place value house. What comes next in the sequence? 237. Very good. And then comes 238. And then comes 239. Very good. Now in the next page, you have to write down the numbers which are given. There's a big truck. You need to fill it with the numbers that are asked for you to fill in. Okay? That's an easy one. I think you can do it by yourself. Let's move on to the next page. In this page, we have to identify how these numbers are read. How to identify and read numbers? First, we have 8. So we have 8 clips which are hung on this row, right? Let's count and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. That's right. Now let's try 18. So in the first row we have 10 clips which are hung. Do you want to read, try counting them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Very good. And then in the next row we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So we read it as 10 plus 8 becomes 18. Now how about the number 25? We have 20 plus 5 which gives us 25. And then we have 32. 30 plus 2 gives us 32. And then 53. 50 plus 3 is 53. Now let's learn about the expanded form. The expanded form, we show the value of each and every number. For example, the value of each digit will be shown here. I'm going to write the expanded form of few numbers here and then you can learn them. For example, the number 23, we can write it as 20 plus 3 would be the expanded form. Here we are writing the value of each digit here. And let me try another one, okay? 1, 107. So how do we write it? 100 plus 0 plus 7 becomes 107. Very good. Now let's try 230. So here we have 200 plus 30 plus 0. That becomes the expanded form of 230. Now let's go into the activity that's given in our book. In page number 62, the first one is 26. So 20 plus 6 is 26. That is the expanded form. Now the next one. Can you tell me what is the expanded form of 35? 30 plus 5. Very good. Let's try another one. 52. 50 plus 2 becomes 52 and then 231. How do we write the expanded form for that? 200 plus 30 plus 1 is the expanded form for 231. Very good. Now we have so many other activities and exercises for you to do it. Let's try opening the book and try doing all these activities, okay? At the end of it, there are a few interesting ones that I would encourage you to do it with the help of your parents. First one, I think you can do it by yourself. You can open the crayon box and count the number of crayons that are there in that box and write it down. And then you can go to the park or a nearby place where you find a lot of sticks. So make a bundle of 10 sticks, count 10 sticks, tie it into a bundle, count another 10 and make another bundle. Okay? And then 
get your book and write down how many sticks you have in each bundle and how many bundles you have collected. Isn't that interesting? You can do that. And the last one is, there is a caterpillar that is given and there's a number that is mentioned. There's only the head that is given. So you have to put your number, your fingerprint there. For example, if you have the number nine next to the head of the caterpillar, you can dip your little finger in the ink or in the paint and then make seven or nine, whichever number is mentioned, those many fingerprints you can make. And this is how you can learn to count, learn to do so many other things in a fun way. See you soon. Bye.